Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert, the Leather Cowboy Muhammad, right here, Premier Leather Crafters, with another video. I know it's been a minute, and um, since I've done one, and don't don't think that I've jump shipped on you guys and fell off, but uh, all leather crafters know, or in the majority of the world knows, who's off into this business. Uh, we're in our Christmas season, so uh, pretty much uh, right after Labor Day. Uh, we stop taking orders and we focus on our clients to get all of the Christmas orders out. Unfortunately for me, I don't know when to stop taking orders. So I'm trying to work on that, but I think it's officially official at this moment. No more orders for me now so I can get everybody's stuff shipped and off in the mail by December the 18th so they can have it on time for the holidays. But uh, I was sitting here working on a piece and... It reminded me of the times when, in my earlier years, um, I, I used to do a lot of lacing. And I'd done a lot of lacing, one, because I, I loved the, the, the double, the triple X, the double and triple X braiding. I loved that. But then the more and more I got off into doing leather craft and seeing other crafters work, the stitching that they were doing was, man, it was just beautiful. And actually, the stitching, the threading, the wax threading stood out and made the piece actually pop a little harder. So I got off into, I wanted to get off into doing the, the stitching. But the problem that I was having at that time was after I'd completely done a piece uh, and, and was getting it ready to uh, stitch, I started doing my stitching. And as the more that I got off into, probably after the, the third or fourth inch of stitching, I started noticing my threading was changing colors. And there is nothing more that will upset a crafter more than when you're lacing and you have about that much of your lacing or your stitching that um, is the actual color that you use. And then once it get down into the more you lace, it starts getting darker and darker and darker and darker. And that's from repeatedly uh, pulling the thread, the, the, the wax thread and through your lace punches. So while I was sitting here working on a piece for a customer that's a, a client up in Virginia, I thought that this would be a prime time to just interject this video real quickly. So let me show you guys first. Here's the piece that, we, that I just finished and I'm ready to start lacing. This is for a client up in the Virginia area who owns Lakota Ranch. And we actually did a little carving work and some stamping work. And then I inlaid the, the uh, crocodile skin right in there. I think it'll be a really cool piece and use his initials in there. Give it a little different feel. And this is what we call a quick draw um, knife sheath. So it's tilted more at a 35 degree angle so you can actually get to it quicker instead of, as opposed to putting it vertical. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about now that the piece is done and I'm ready to lace it. Yeah, I've already punched my lacing holes uh, all the way around it. And we're going to attach the this piece here. Uh, and this is the threading that I actually selected to do it. It's a tan wax thread. Actually, and here's another thing, you guys. Uh, I ordered this thread from the Wish app. And you guys can see how big this is. And I've been using this probably for a little while. But uh, let me find my camera. There it is. So you guys, you guys can see how much wax thread that is. Actually, I have several colors that I actually ordered. Uh, they come in pink. I got green. I got red and white. Um, but these were a dollar for wax thread. Wish app. Save yourself some money. Go on to the Wish app. Download the Wish app. They have a lot of leather tools that are on there too. That uh, And yes, leather work is done in China. I don't care what you, you, you may have your hangups and griefs about that. But hey, look, I know if I was to buy this exact same roll here in the States, they're going to run me probably about six or seven dollars. I paid a dollar for each roll, bought six different colors, and it was only five bucks in shipping. I still couldn't have beat that with a bat here in the state. So, you know, do what you choose, but hey, you know, you guys already know I'm all about saving some money. But anywho, uh, I've already prepped up and got my thread ready to lace into this. 
uh, my thread ready to stitch, my wax thread ready to stitch into it. It's already prepped. But here's the thing about this video and what I wanted to show you most was how to keep that your thread all the same color. Now, and I did another video uh, where we talk, where I talked about um, doing a resistor, but this is the product here. Super Sheen. Super Sheen Echo Flow brand. You can buy this from Tandy. You can buy it from anybody. Any, all your leather stores out there sell Super Sheen. Uh, I've known some crafters to use tan coat, or they can. You can use tan coat. You can use top coat finish. Whatever the, the finishing may be that you choose to use, right before you start your lacing or your stitching, even if you're going to do... Um, a uh, what what we ah man it drives it left my mind on what the title of it was. But even if you're going to lace with a different color or a lighter color, um, and you want to keep your lacing that same color, come in with a, another finish of super sheen or top coat or top finish, and put that over your products after you've punched the holes. After you have punched. Or chisel punch your holes, or you you uh, use a hole punch if you're going to do whatever you're going to use. Uh, come back with two more coats of your Super Sheen. I love Super Sheen. I keep this stuff in stock, so I mean I never run out of it. So it's multiple purpose use. Is you can use it as a resistor. You can use it um, uh, to to lock in your colors, and you can also use it to lock in. Uh, your punches. So I've already done that and I applied there with a non-porous sponge. You guys can buy these for a dollar at Walmart or or, um, or a top dollar or um, a dollar general. You can they only a buck. They actually come bigger than this, but I've cut it in half so I can have it for a little while and they come thicker than this because you can already see why I've cut it. So not only did I cut this sponge the length of the sponge, I cut it also in half. So now I have four pieces to use this over and over again. Non-porous is best for me because it doesn't soak up my sheen. It leaves it right on the top to where I can come back and smooth it all over the entire piece. And then I let this set. I should have done this, did this video about four or six hours ago, but now that the piece is ready to stitch, uh, my super sheen has already locked into the seals of all of my punches. So now I can come back and start stitching and my wax thread will remain the entire color or remain the, the same color throughout the entire piece. I hope that this video, as always, I hope that I give you a little bit of information that you can keep on using and also to save you some money. Also keeps your sanity too, because like I said, the only thing worse than having a at your thread changing colors is when you're lacing and you're pulling that same strand of lace through and through and through on a piece and then it starts to break. Stay tuned, I'll show you a video on how to do that too and fix that where you can keep on lacing with the same thread. And uh, But uh, as always, thank you guys for chilling with me these past eight minutes. I hope that the cowboy from Premier Leather Crafters shed a little light on you. Why am I talking to third person? That's me. I'm the cowboy. But anyway, I hope that this thing helped you guys out. Stay tuned. I'll see you on the next ride. One love. Peace.